Are you getting better? Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped here in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services, which I co-own with my amazingly talented and beautiful wife and best friend, Brooke. I just love how this intro just keeps getting longer. Anyways, on to our topic. Are you getting better? So I just finished listening to an episode of the podcast, Audrey Helps Actors, with guest Joe Town, who I love and adore. He runs the Performer's Mindset, and the links to all of that stuff will be in the show notes below. But the reason I bring this up is, uh, among the many topics they discussed, there was a trend or a theme of becoming better as an actor. You know, focusing on process, not product, uh, becoming 1% better every day. Etc. But what struck me was this mental exercise that Audrey mentioned, where she'll ask an actor, what would it take to start an agency? How much money would you need to just keep the doors open? And then how much additional money would you invest on a monthly basis? So let's just say that it costs $3,000 to keep your doors open, rent, utilities, and if you have an assistant or multiple assistant agents, whatever, $3,000 a month to keep the doors open. And then on top of that, you're going to invest, let's say $2,000 into the business to grow the business each and every month. That's $5,000 a month for all of those expenses. Now multiply that times 10, that's $50,000. And that is how much your actors would need to bring in for you to just keep the doors open and presumably be growing the business a little bit each month. Now think, how many actors would you need to ensure those numbers? And now, how much time would you, as the owner of this agency, have to invest every week just to make sure that you're getting enough opportunities to those actors, and again, keeping those doors open and building the business? 40 hours a week? <laughs> now, 60? Maybe more? 80? Optimistically, let's just say 60 hours a week to keep the doors open and grow the business. Now for the big question. As an actor, how much money, after all of your living expenses and sort of keeping the doors open, how much money a week, a month, do you invest into your career? I don't think it's $2,000 a month. And how many hours a week do you invest into growing your acting and career? I doubt it's 60. So with that analogy in mind, what would agent you think of actor you? The point here is not to feel shame or feel like you're not doing enough. It's simply to give perspective that your immediate desire for overnight success, fame, and money may have to be recalibrated because you do need to make money to survive. So you likely have one or more side jobs or real jobs just to keep your doors open for your career, i.e. paying rent, food, utilities, insurance, etc. And unless you're independently wealthy, if you are, uh, drop a comment below so we can all learn from whatever it is that you're doing. Well, for the rest of us, we're spending 20 to 60 hours a week or more doing stuff that has nothing to do with our career, which leaves even less time to do things like go to class or invest in other ways into our career. And wherever you are on that spectrum, you're simply trying to balance your time, energy, and resources so that you can move your career forward and hopefully not burn out at the same time. And it's okay. Wherever you are on that spectrum, don't judge yourself. That's not the point of this video. But let's say you're living on the far end of the spectrum where you are not able to put really any time, energy, money, resources into your career. Well, again, that's okay. But you should maybe not expect to hit that next milestone in your career anytime soon. Sure, some actors do win the lottery and become that sort of overnight success. But just like a scratch off ticket or playing the Powerball, don't expect that to happen. And this topic that Audrey brought up in her podcast, again, check the show notes below and check out her podcast. It resonated with me so much because as someone who owns a taping service, I see actors just about every day who come into the room and either before, during, or after their audition, they are lamenting to me about where they are on their journey. And I get it, I've been there myself many times, but it can be a cold glass of water in the face if I stop to think about how much or little time, energy, and resources I'm putting into my career to facilitate that progress. 
So the moral of today's video is to take an inventory of where you are in that balance, that work-life balance. How much time, energy, and resources are you putting into your career right now? And be honest with yourself. If you like your current work-life balance, then it stands to reason you should also be content with the progress of your career, the pace of that progress. But if you're desperate to see growth in your career, then you might need to take stock of what you're doing right now to make that happen. And sitting around waiting for your agent to make things happen or for Spielberg to call you. Oh, I thought I heard the phone. That's not the way to do it. And even if you do shift things around to try to facilitate some of this progress, don't expect immediate results. It's like planting seeds in a garden. Instead, think about becoming 1% better every day. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. So let us know what you're doing to become 1% better every day by dropping a comment below, or just ask a question if you feel like you're stuck in a rut and don't know what to do next. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on set.